Hi everybody, um, this is just a quick video, a uh, Friday Reads video, um, my first Friday Reads video. Um, sorry about the lighting a bit, it's it's night time, so you know, and dark and horrible. Anyway, and oh, and for those eagle-eyed ones among you, um, yes, my Star Wars Funko Pops are multiplying. I bought two more after work today because, you know, Maz Kanata and General Leia, hell yeah. Anyway, so this, this weekend I'm hoping to do a reasonable amount of reading in between studying. I have an assignment to start. Um, first up, I we're only about a week away from the close of voting in the Hugo Awards, um, which means I have, well, some reading to do because um, I don't read things that I know are going to make me upset or angry, which means most of the puppy nominations I am not reading. But I am currently three chapters on my Kindle, three chapters into Uproot Uprooted by Naomi Novak, which um, I'm really enjoying. And I'm about seven or eight chapters into the fifth season by N.K. Jemison, which is a lot more serious and a lot more intense, but I'm, again, enjoying that. So I'm hoping, hoping hopefully going to make more progress on those this weekend on my Kindle, so you know, yay. Um, but I do want to try and get some things off my TBR shelf as well. So one of those things that I'm hoping to get to this weekend is Volume 1 of Odyssey, the graphic novel by Christian Ward and Matt Fraction. This is, like I said, this is Volume 1 and I haven't read it yet, but I've heard a lot of really good things about it, and um, in particular... It seems right up my alley because it's a gender flipped science fictional version of Homer's Odyssey and I love mythology and I love gender flipped things that you know mean more women and you know it's in space and like the art looks so so beautiful I mean so brightly colored and I mean the front cover is amazing so it's been sitting on my TBR for maybe a month or so now so um, hopefully I'll get to that this weekend. And also if I get a bit out of the mood for my Hugo reading, um, I have the last Herald Mage series by Mercedes Lackey. Um, this is part of her Valdemar universe. I've read, I may have read this, I am not sure. I read a few of her trilogies in the Valdemar universe when I was at uni, um, and I enjoyed them, but it kind of got lost amongst all my other reading at uni. Um, my best friend, Yannicka, she really recommends, she loves Mercedes Lackey. I didn't come to Mercedes Lackey until my, I was an adult. Um, but I've managed to collect all three Last Herald Mage books uh, via secondhand books. Um, and they've been sitting on my TBR shelf with a couple of other Mercedes Lackey books for quite some time. So, you know, if I, if I need a break from, um, from N.K. Jemison or from Naomi Novik, then I might give Magic's Pawn a try. Um, so yeah, th those are the, what I'm kind of hoping to read this weekend as well as my room and history reading. Um, we'll see how I go. Bye.